This video is one where we're going to solve an applied problem that results in a quadratic function. Our scenario says a small company makes custom surfboards. They have found that if they sell the surfboards for $100, the demand is 100 boards. If they sell the surfboards for $80, the demand is 140 surfboards. We see that idea where as we increase the price, the number of surfboards that are demanded goes down. The first thing we're going to do, because we're trying to find the linear demand function, so our goal is to build a function like this, q equals mp plus b. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to write down what our ordered pairs are. If we read back through our information in our problem, we can see we're given two data points. If the price is $100, the demand for surfboards is 100. And then with our second data point, it says if the price is $80, our demand is 140 surfboards. Our slope, using that uh, change in y over change in x, we're taking our change in our q over our change in our p, is going to be 140 minus 100 over 80 minus 100. I chose to make this my second, this my first point, so I did 140 minus 100, so then I have to do 80 minus 100. So we're going to end up with, so numerator is going to be 40, denominator is going to be negative 20, so that's going to be negative 2. And that matches what we're expecting from what we know about supply and demand. We should have a decreasing function. We should have a function that's got a negative slope because as we raise the price, the demand is going to go down. The last thing we need to do here is build the equation. So we know that our slope is negative 2, so our function is going to look like negative 2p plus b. And so I need to take one of my points. I'm going to take this point right here and I'm going to plug in that those values. So our 140 is our Q, so we're going to have 140 equals negative 2. Our price is 80, so it's going to be times 80 plus B. So we're going to have 140 equals negative 160 plus B. If you add 160 to both sides, we get B equals 300. Our equation that we just built is negative 2p plus 300. That is our linear demand function. In the next step, they ask us to write a sentence to interpret the slope. So let's just remind ourselves what we had. We took our change in our q over our change in our p, and we ended up with negative 2, or I'm going to think of this as negative 2 over 1. I'm going to find the units here first. Remember our numerator, these were our uh, number of surfboards. So this is surfboards. In our denominator, those were our prices. So this is our price in dollars. What this is telling us is that our demand, remember this is our P, this is our Q, we've got a function headed like that. Our demand is going to drop by two surfboards. So it's going to fall by two surfboards when we increase that price by one dollar. Sentence is the demand will drop by two surfboards for each $1 increase in price. The next thing they're asking us to do is to build the revenue function. So remember, we just built this demand function, q equals negative 2p plus 300. And we know from earlier that if we're trying to find the revenue, revenue always equals our price times our quantity. So this formula here has two variables. It's got P and it's got Q. And we can take and put it into just one variable by taking this formula that we built for Q and just substituting that in there. So we're going to have revenue is P times negative 2P plus 300. And then if I go ahead and I distribute my P, I end up with the formula negative 2p squared plus 300p. Notice that I now have a quadratic formula for my revenue function. 
it asks us in the next part to determine what value of P will maximize the revenue. So our revenue function, which we just found in the previous question, is negative 2P squared plus 300P. It is a quadratic. And since the coefficient of our, neg of our squared term is negative 2, that means our parabola is going to open down. And this spot here at the top of our parabola is our vertex. So the vertex is where our function reaches its maximum or minimum. So what we need to do is we need to use our vertex formula to find the value of p. So remember the formula is negative b over 2a. Here my a is negative 2 and my b is this 300. So we are going to have negative 300 over 2 times negative 2. So this is 300 over 4, which is 75. Our price is going to be $75 per surfboard. That's where our revenue is maximized. In this next part, they tell us the marginal cost to produce each surfboard is $40, and there's fixed costs of $1,000. Report the cost as a function of the price P. From earlier chapters, we know that cost is can be separated into two parts. It's the fixed cost plus our variable cost. And first of all, we know from this problem that our fixed cost is $1,000 because they told us that. And they told us that our marginal cost is our cost for each surfboard. And so that marginal cost, that is our cost per unit. Our variable cost is our marginal cost, which is $40 per board times the number of units. So here, here we're talking about our quantity. So that's going to be Q. Our cost function looks like 40Q plus 1,000. The problem with this cost function is they ask us to find the cost as a function of P. We have the cost as a function of Q. But we do have that formula that we built from the, in the earlier parts that told us that Q is negative 2P plus 300. So we could take this formula that we found here and just plop it into our function. I'm going to go ahead and distribute that 40 and collect like terms. We end up with C equals negative 80P plus 13,000. The next thing they ask us to do is report the profit function. So remember profit equals revenue minus cost. We know from earlier parts that our revenue equals negative 2P squared plus 300P and our cost is negative 80P plus 13,000. If I use those two functions, profit is revenue minus cost, and then I plug that into my revenue, plug that into my cost, I end up with this formula. Now it's really easy to mess up the next step. You have to remember to distribute that negative sign across both terms so that you can uh, get rid of those parentheses. So we end up with profit is negative 2p squared plus 380p minus 13,000. Now one thing to notice that you may not have seen me do before is I'm using p with a subscript of r for profit. Sometimes we also write just pr. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I've got a lowercase p in my function as my variable. And so when I use lowercase p and uppercase p in the same problem, it makes it unclear for a lot of people because I can't tell the difference between my lowercase p's and my uppercase p's. So I use that little subscript. So p sub r, or you can just write pr, whichever you like. So in the next part, it says determine the value of p that will maximize the profit. So again, we're going to use that formula, negative b over 2a, to find the vertex. And we know this is going to work because once again, we have a quadratic function. Our coefficient of our squared term is negative. So this is going to be a parabola that's opening down. And so we just need to find that vertex. When we plug in the values, we get negative 380 over 2 times negative 2. I'm going to cancel both of those negatives and I end up with 380 over 4, which is 95. And so that's $95 per surfboard. Now, one thing to notice is just 
a couple of parts ago, we found where the revenue was maximized, and that's different from where the profit is maximized because you have two different quadratic functions. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.